Hello, and thanks for tuning in. This is Tulip Snow with Fallout New Vegas, picking up where we left off. We're headed south to Prim. You can actually see it. All right. But first, let's go see what's in this shack. There's some people down there. Discovered several locations. You can fast travel back to discovered location using the world map near Pip Boy. All right. And there are some people down here. Let's see if they're friendly or not. Oh, hey guys. Uh, you're powder gangers, aren't you? I don't like you. Never gets old when something blows up. I might like you. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. You have a shotgun. Let's see what you have. You have a 9mm. Just keep on walking. What are you going to do about it? Never gets old when something blows up. Just keep on walking. You look exactly like him. You and I have got nothing to talk about. Yeah, they look exactly the same. I think there was a bloat fly over here. Let's see if I can, uh... Give them to attack the powder gangers. Come on. Come on. No, they're not gonna do anything. Let's continue on our way back down the prim. I thought I would be hated more by the powder gangers after killing them like I did. I guess not. Another location here. With more powder gangers. I already know that's a landmine. Are you gonna set it off? I'm just going to continue on my way. I already discovered it. I don't need to get myself even more hated by some people. I'm going to cut this part out while traveling down to Prim after discovering that location. Ooh, geckos. What are they doing? Running away? Sounds good to me. Fight me if you're gonna just run out. I'm taking rats here and I don't want them. All it needs is one blast and you're done. Alright. I know there's like a cool place up there but I'm not gonna discover it. I'm gonna cut out that gecko as well. Alright, and we're a bit closer to... Prim, as a gecko runs away after murdering a red roach. Uh, anyway. That's, that's battle music. You should be dead. You are dead. Take your hide and meat. Yeah, that was it. That was everything. There's someone over there. Prospector drinking a beer. Do you have anything to say, Prospector? Drinking a beer? Beer drinking Prospector? Hey, how's it going? Hey there. Hey there. Howdy. Howdy. Okay. You don't have anything to say then? Hey! Hey guy! What's up? Friend? Friendo? Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. I'm going to Prim! I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. I just fought some geckos and I've already fought the powder gangers. But I need to get into Prim. Hey, guy. What's up? When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Yeah, there's not. Uh, landmines on the bridge. Disarmed one. That's what I'm talking about. Disarmed two. 
Disarm three. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get into Prim. Let's find Johnson Nash, who I'm supposed to speak to at the Mojave Express. There's the Mojave Express, and also <laughs> a stupid, uh, just a tumbleweed. <laughs> I love that. Oh, there are enemies over there. What are you gonna do about it? Oh! I'm gonna wait for him to come around the corner. Oh! Laid out. That was actually pretty easy. Oh, I took his head clean off. More dynamite. Oh, and I leveled up. Get 25% repair. A bit more guns. Let's bring that up to 40. Uh, what else do I want? I want some more speech. Let's bring that up to 34. Uh, what do you have on you? You have a hockey mask. God, that looks disgusting for some reason. Hydra. I think one of their outfits is actually better than my leather arm. I'm gonna put that on. That's one DT plus two guns. And this is one DT plus two guns. Leather armors plus four DT. Powder gear, but that doesn't have any addition to guns. I want more guns. I'm the American government. I want more guns. What does the adventurer outfit look on me? It looks okay, I guess. Now what about the charmer outfit? Not as cool. Well, what about with the... I'm gonna go with the Merc Adventurer with... Pre-war hat. Alright, let's go check out the Mojave Express. And... This person's dead. Daniel Winan. Um, Mojave Express delivery order four of six. I'm gonna give that a read through real quick. Instructions, deliver the package at the north entrance. All right, same thing as mine was, 250. Oops. Two oversized uh, dice composed of a fuzzy material. Okay, so someone at the strip ordered a platinum chip Two oversized dice. I wonder what else has been ordered. Um, also, let's turn off that radio. Mr. New Vegas. Uh, what's this? Examine damaged robot. Try to refix it. Some servos need repair of 65. I do not have that. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Is there a Johnson Nash? No, there isn't. They're probably holed up somewhere. Ooh, Vicky and Vance. Let's go in there. I think he's in there. Well, I actually know he's in there. I've played the game several times before, but let's act surprised. I don't oh, know what hey, was, Johnson you Nash, prim, I'm youngster. so surprised. You might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Cool. Uh, I'm a courier at the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? 
That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Victor? A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have from the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Oh. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Yeah. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up okay. and walked out. Okay, do you know where, who he was or where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. That's enough for me to say. Well, considering my package was stolen, and I got shot in the head... Well, now that you mentioned it, was it a few luck. nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me, and I need to know the best way well, to get to that, him. your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Where's he? Since where's he's at? Town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. All right. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Do you have anything? Where is Dep huh. Deputy Prim? Should be. Yeah, you just said he was in the uh, Bison Steve. Let's. I have to screenshot this. All right, let's go find Deputy Beagle. All right, let's try this again. Immediately into the fight. What is with these guys? Shot him in the head. There we go. That was a good kill. And you, you're gonna pick up his pistol, aren't you? Uh, let's see if I can take care of you pretty easily. Oh, that was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. I'll take your stuff. And I'll use... Oh, I can repair all my 9mm. Yes! Now, what about that varmint rifle I picked up? Yes! I need more shotgun ammo. Any fools down at the end of the corridor? No, there are not. Let's heal up a bit since I'm gonna be fighting a lot of people. Two sunset sarsaparillas, just to waste time with. Alright, let's take that. Take pre war money, awesome. I'm going to collect as much pre-war money as I can, since it totally holds value in today's currency. And sunset Star Bottle Cap. I know that's going to be important. Ooh, maintenance. Let's... There we go. Hey. Don't mind me. You love that? Trying to get out of here and live. Dynamite, okay. I'm gonna have to use some dynamite if I don't make it out of here. Hey, Deputy Beagle. I'm here to save you. Let me see if I can actually...
All right, deputy. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. I'm going to let you go, but I'm going to need your help. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I can I'd see that. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you. Yeah, I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. If you're going to try to run away, I'm going to shoot you myself, along with everyone else in this building. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. Of without. course. You lead the way. Convict. Take one in the head. That barely did anything. Pistol. Oh, God, please stop shooting me. Don't run through that door, Deputy Beagle. Yes. Hurry up and die. Take some more Sunset Sark Gorillas and two more Stim Packs. Oh. Get him, Deputy. Alright. Okay. We're safe. You had an incinerator? As well as flamer fuel, but you didn't use it. I am very lucky if that's the case. And... Am I overweight? Yeah, I am overweight. Let's repair up everything I can. Varmint rifle, repair that. Uh, apparel, pre-war hat. Repair that. Work troublemaker. I'm wearing an adventurer. There's one that I like. I don't think it's a charmer. Let me repair the leather armor. Not that one. Work adventurer. Not that one. Was it the troublemaker? Yeah, I like the troublemaker. It's got bullets all over it. So let's prepare that up as much as it can be. Alright, and I should be good on weight for right now. Reload. Anything in the refrigerators? Yes. I'm not going to take all of that. I'm not going to be an alcoholic. Alright, let's loot these bodies. Ooh, goggles helmet. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, my perception is at 9. Do the goggles helmets count as glasses? They don't. But my perception is still 8. Which is still really good. Alright. So, some more Sunset Sarsaparilla. Alright, Deputy Beagle. I do hope this ordeal will be over soon. Beagle, take a weapon. I just hope I won't have to use it. I am going to give you the incinerator I found, as well as all of the ammo for it, because I want you to make it through this. Let's get going. And depart, we will. Alright. Alright, let's actually finish clean, cleaning out this building. What's your health at? You're at full health. Good. So this is where I will end this video. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next time when we will finish clearing out the Bison Steve Casino. And continue on our way to New Vegas.